Jeff Fair was born in Lima, Ohio in 1947 to parents Stanley and Phyllis Fair. His father graduated from West Point, resulting in Jeff living all over the United States. When Stanley was first posted to the Pentagon, Jeff attended North Springfield Elementary in Virginia, where he made faces at the girl who sat next to the door in the classroom across the hall. Little did he realize that she, just nine years later, would become his wife. It was also here that he met his best friend who loved football. Jeff was not big enough to play football, but wanted to be close to his friends. He took an athletic trainer's course, and with this experience under his belt, he became the trainer for the football and basketball teams at Annandale High School in Virginia. When Jeff met a girl on a blind date at a basketball game, he found out it was Carolyn, the young girl from elementary school. She should have known what life was going to be like in the future as Jeff sat on the bench with the team while she was in the stands. She saw him before the game, at halftime, and at the end of the game when he took her home. Jeff and Carolyn attended the senior prom and they were together as they graduated from high school. Jeff and Carolyn married in 1968. Jeff then attended Kent State University in Ohio on an athletic trainer scholarship. While at Kent, he did an internship at the Cleveland, Ohio Veterans Hospital and earned certification as a kinesiotherapist. He graduated and accepted a graduate assistantship at the University of North Dakota in Grand Forks. Jeff flew in a prop airplane when the basketball team traveled and had a very cold season that year in football. When one of the football coaches left for Oklahoma State, he called and asked if Jeff wanted to come to OSU as the football trainer. Carolyn had two questions. Was it warmer and would he finish his degree? Jeff started at Oklahoma State in July 1972 and became head trainer with Jim Stanley as head coach. Jeff worked with all sports and hired the first woman to work in the training room. He filled the whirlpools in mid-July before he took Carolyn to deliver their first son. After all, the training room had to be ready for the players. Jeff dropped her off for the delivery at the old hospital and came back to the training room. He saw her at lunch and then at night when she delivered. Jeff and Carolyn have two sons, JJ and Justin. As they were growing up, they were always encouraged to strive for the best and to ask for what they wanted. After all, the worst thing that could happen was they would be told no. It wasn't a shame to lose, only not to try. Jeff was fortunate to be mentored by and partner with Dr. Donald Cooper. He co-authored Trainer's Corner for Physician and Sports Medicine with Dr. Cooper and went on to write numerous articles. He mentored many players, students, and graduate trainers during his years. Many have stayed in the athletic training field and keep in touch with him still. Jeff finished his master's from the University of North Dakota and received a doctorate from Oklahoma State in 1987. Perseverance was his mainstay as it took him seven years on a part-time basis. Jeff was devoted to the student athletes at OSU. He spent every Friday night before the football games with the players in the hotel always close by in case someone got sick or needed help. Cowboy great and Heisman Trophy winner Barry Sanders liked to eat bananas the night before each game. As Jeff would make bed check and give the players their snack, some of the players gave their bananas back to Jeff to give to Barry. During current OSU head coach Mike Gundy's playing days, he would lay in wait with rubber tip darts or silly string to shoot at Jeff as he opened the door for bed check. Jeff received OSU's Distinguished Service Award in 1986 for his service not only in athletic training, but also to local high schools and for teaching classes. Dr. Fair was awarded the Melvin Jones Award by the Stillwater Lions Club for his service to Lions and the community, and in 1994, the National Association of Athletic Trainers awarded him the Most Distinguished Athletic Trainer Award. Dr. Fair was instrumental in helping write and encourage the passage of Oklahoma Licensure of Athletic Trainers, and he still holds his number one license card. 
He served on the Oklahoma Board of Examiners as a member and later as chairman helping develop the Oklahoma State Athletic Trainers Association. Dr. Fair retired from OSU after 25 years in 1997, but continued his athletic training career at the U.S. Naval Academy, which has been his dream since his senior year in high school. He continued working at the Academy before retiring permanently in 2015. A recipient of the Athletic Department's Administrative Staff Award, Dr. Fair has been part of many trips to the White House as the Navy football team received the Commander-in-Chief's trophy from the President for beating the two other service academies. Jeff has always been creative and inventive in finding ways to prevent injury and rehabilitate his athletes. He developed the cowboy collar to keep players from getting shoulder stingers. It was his first patent and was marketed by McDavid. Other inventions include a heel cup for sprains, lacrosse thumb guards for broken thumbs, the shoulder strap for shoulder injuries under shoulder pads, and the anchor for protecting shoulder injuries in all sports. The hours at OSU and the Academy were long. The care, prevention, and rehabilitation of athletic injuries knows no limits. Jeff has been there to encourage, laugh, and listen. Jeff truly treats the whole person, not just the injuries, and his door is always open. As he retired from the Naval Academy, he has heard from former athletes, coaches, and trainers who all say he was an important facet of their collegiate lives. Jeff worked 512 football games in his career as head trainer at OSU and at the Naval Academy, and he said, I had a great time and had fun every day I went to work.